all right boys in today's video we're gonna be covering the dev notes that dropped because i've seen everyone else drop, uh, cover them i didn't want to i didn't even want to read them right i was like i don't care it's gonna be about overlord and like they're gonna do some false promises but i've seen so many people make videos on this now and seeing as i was the one that kickstarted off the whole drama in grand cross uh, i thought you know let's 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 see what this says okay let's see if they listen to my stuff um because i was the only one correct in this whole thing by the way um let's see I'm Koopy. Yeah, thank you. Okay. About collaboration returns. Okay. Let's see it. I'm very curious about this. They better address it. They said this is the year of exciting collaborations and it's just reruns. The beloved collaboration between Grand Cross and Overlord have will be held again. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, as we see so much interest and love from players that has decided. Okay. That is fair, sort of. Don't just say Japan and Korea, by the way. Um. It, oh, I guess they don't. No, they should say all service. They did. I don't know why they said Japan and Korea. Was it November? Was it November in the on global? Even then, like just say it was held ten months ago in all the servers and people loved it. Okay, uh, they mainly loved it. I mean, Overlord's good. I love Overlord. Okay, but they mainly loved it because Albedo was game breaking. Okay, so and Kokai just was really really good. It turned out to be really good. Like it's not because they're like, oh my god, you designed the collab so well. When you rerun it, don't change anything. Give us the same boss fight that you can two turn, and then then change nothing else. Thanks. And that's not that's not what this was. But they're delusional. Um, you enjoy various collaborations that is underground labyrinth, which is the same thing every time. And the ventilation bit that does yeah during last year yeah literally okay thanks they know it should exist in collaboration important cast from all level also appear okay that's it so they said they're saying it's the exact same event it's just uh, people loved it so much and we decided to uh, not bother doing anything new uh, except the characters there you go guys spend money please um, also outfits please various rewards have been prepared to come over yeah okay cap all right um update direction for the second half of 2024 okay this is big they confirmed that the update direction for grand crosses which is currently being prepared by the development team for the second half of 2024 at first time we attempted to change the way we operate updates in order to bring something new to the game and that has become standard after providing a service for a long time you have made small changes in gameplay such as adding a lobby with a concept for us okay and yeah okay at least they say small changes they they, they know a new, new beginning in my head um the re we are reorganizing the bell menu Adding the Adventure Journal and the Heroes book in addition. Okay, yeah. I mean, those are good. In addition, we have prepared brand new updates and events experience. Just Merlin's Laboratory where players can check their records. Okay, whatever. That's not really that interesting. Like, stop hyping this up. But sure, no more kits. Yeah, that's not interesting. Um, and a special world tournament that's also irrelevant for 99% of people. And by 99% of people. With the introduction of UR character so we can maximize the appeal of new characters for providing many like this is so stupid. That's so that, like, who are they trying to lie to? This is they've they've tried to tell us this lie like three times now. Is, 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 we can we can we wanted to make UR characters so we can make better characters, guys. So we can't make them regular fest because they're too cool. It's like, yeah, okay, cool, thanks. So you're admitting you do, do not give a shit about the characters that you release that aren't UR festivals. Thanks. We know. We've seen Jenna. Um in the second half of the year, we'll continue to listen to your feedback, Cap, and uh, make adjustments to improve, improve the game, Cap, add new content to meet expectations, Cap, we'll introduce some of these, some of these in this developer notes, okay, we'll see. Fest to update cycle, okay, are you gonna make a regular fest, or are you stupid, let's see. Development team has taken your feedback seriously regarding the fast paced festival schedule implementing the first half of the year, first half, uh, we tried to make seasonal festivals more rewarding by providing various rewards and training materials, Cap. Well, sorta, Cap, they do give out more, um, gems, for the uh seasonal fests right um uh, they're because like they essentially make the seasonal fest 600 banners even though they're ur fests but it doesn't make it a good system so however we found that this process plays a great burden on players unexpected uh, okay thanks really what uh, okay have you seen how many um how much it takes to get a ur character from one to 100 i say six yeah i don't think they, these devs know they know, they know, oh, 900 gems, so we give them a couple, and then that, that's all good. Let's just do just, just 100 of them in a row. Although we were able to receive more training materials. Bro, this is so annoying, too. Like, why? Is it, like, almost the same thing happened with Dark and Light. Dark and Light introduced, and then every festival is a Dark and Light. Right? Um, and there are some exceptions, obviously. Like, Esterosa, for example, was Blue Steel, Hallelujah. But, like, very unfun. And then now this is, like, the same thing. You are festival. Okay, every festival you are festival now. So like Dark and Light festivals got introduced, we couldn't buy them anymore. Now UR festivals are introduced, we can't buy them anymore. Now they have a this whole new system where they have four extra festivals every year, and they can't make them regular festivals. Just because why not? Why not? You can't buy UR festivals 
The seasonal ones are a burden on your players. Make them regular fests so people can buy them with their regular shit fest coins. Okay? Everyone has like 501 coins lying around. And if they don't, they probably will. Like, if they if they keep summoning. So, yeah. Although we will to see more training materials and diamond support for this half of the season fest, we believe that the frequent appearance of new characters becoming a burden on players. Yeah, and also cosmetics, thanks. Um, prices make them a tenth of what they are now, thanks. Basis issue, we're currently discussing the direction of future festival cycles. We will endeavor to make the training. Okay, so this is irrelevant. They said, guys, we know you don't like it, but we think it was good, so we are not going to consider your opinions. That's essentially what they're saying. Uh, I see this word, and I know they watched my video then. Um, that's good. Reducing fatigue through reorganization of existing content, okay? Strive to provide new content for players a variety of fun, okay? I, I can't say cap, that's true. How interesting a piece of content is, the more it's repeated, the more you're used to it, so we believe it's necessary to continue providing new content, okay? So demon bird stage 4 is not this. That's not what the providing new content is. This year we introduced content that players to play on over, such demon king battle. Don't say over and over again, because that's locked behind coins. And a transcendent beast battle that's also it actually locked behind materials too so i don't know why you'd say this this is the like you they type out the sentence and they, surely they look at the mirror and they see a clown surely there's one new plan to focus realize and simplifying existing content updates uh, until the end of this year cap I'd like to tell you about some things we're currently preparing. Okay, let's see what's what's up. The training cave is a piece of content that has been remodeled in the past. Okay, there's so many complex aspects to it, even after remodeling. This content has been around for a long time, and players have come accustomed to it. Current development team is preparing a feature that will allow players to skip all battles in the training cave all at once. Okay, so they they don't understand. Training cave is a shit mode. The idea of like, oh, you need to like level up your box and then use your use your characters use them up and like progress and stuff is good the way they imp implemented it is horrible so th that's be and then because they knew it was horrible they implemented skip tickets right the mission so you can skip ticket them because they're like okay it's a horrible mode we don't know how to fix it let's make people be able to skip it and now they're like okay like that now you can skip everything even including the gold battle um now they're just making this not a mode this is just a skip ticket now this is just a claim reward whenever it's up so that's not how you fix it, but I, I don't mind. It is what it is, bro. Improved reward acquisition free method for hero. A hero arena should give you like 50 gems. Ah, uh, no. It should give you like a lot of gems, though, I think. If you do challenger, it should. Hero arena is content to allow players who are not members of a knight uh, order to experience similar knight. That's not what it is. No one cares. And to allow players who are currently participating in a night or the competition to acquire materials. I mean, it is, it is the, the way the towers work. That's how it works, technically, but go on. And to allow players who are currently participating in a night or the competition to acquire materials about their characters. Yep. While playing without any burden. Yeah. Okay. However, the, the long season based event period and the method of obtaining rewards, which requires clearing all defensive teams, can be burdensome and tiring for players. We plan to gradually eliminate this issue. Um, protest adjustments to the method of obtaining rewards. What? And we plan to relax the criteria for receiving rewards so you can receive rewards according to the clearing stage, even if you don't defeat all the defending deaths. Uh, useless. In addition, we have plan to revise difficult sections so that it will be easy to select. The okay, that's also useless. That's just telling people, yo, you are actually not strong enough for this. Okay, so they, they, this is literally saying, yo, we like this mode. Guys, stop complaining. We're not going to change anything. We're just going to make it clear to you how good the mode is. That, that's what they're saying. I don't think Heroes Arena is bad or like needs fixed. Uh, I just wish it got, gave more rewards. That's that's it. Um, especially like LR coins, it should give more now. With everything else giving more, uh, seeing as that was the original content to give LR coins, it should give increased LR coins as well. Mode to play against Demon King. Oh! Let's see. It's kind of designed to allow players to experience the fun of losing the Demon King clearing the stage by using cards that meet conditions. Present. I think Demon King is a good fight, for the most part. We also had a new tra training around called True Awakening, with the intention of allowing players to experience the fun of battle training. However, after completing True Awakening, the characters currently being used. The goal will be to True Awaken all the characters that appear, which requires players to play the Demon King battle many times, which will play them more tired and then satisfied. True. To improve this issue, we are planning to add a feature that will increase the reward multiplier for memory crystal boxes based on the amount of coins registered. Allowing players to earn memory crystals faster and with fewer plays. The rubble player for memory crystal boxes based on the amount of coins registered. Oh. Oh, so they're not changing Demon King. Guys, don't get it twisted. 
They're not making it so it costs less to go in or it doesn't cost anything. You can just farm it. They're making it so basic amount of coins registered. So instead of paying three coins for a run, you can pay 50 and then it counts as like 16 runs or whatever, right? Um, that's what they say. That's what this is. You can just use more coins. So for every like three coins you use, you get another set of boxes, but it's only one run you have to do. That's what they're saying. More memory crystals faster with fewer plays. So it's the same event. It's you're still locked behind the same coins. The, the thing is, it takes a say coins to get into the fight. It takes an observant amount of a say coins to true awaken the unit, right? To get that little like extra currency that no one they didn't need to add for this. Okay, like like like, like I know this great great coast community genuinely is filled with the most braided people I've ever like I'll ever meet. I think probably, but there's no way that the devs are more brain dead because no way they, that they think dude they're not going to complain about the fact that they have to use 50 sa coins for one true awakening no way they don't think that right the the actual like a little like a, i don't know what it's called like the star like the, the one you need for true awakening the purple thing the fact that this exists like oh my god i i'm i can't it's, it's too much it's too stupid and I tend to try and avoid stupid things and people. Well, I'm bad at that, but you know, that, that is very, very stupid. The whole that they edit that. That does not make sense, right? What I wanted to read here is we removed it so you can use more coins against Demon King and do more runs without like thinking that you awaken 10 characters by true awakening one character, right? That's what I wanted to see, but I think I just done in Subway Surfer Law. Um, but yeah, interesting. I think uh, wow, that's so horrible. It's not bad. Okay, it's a good change. It's a positive change, and you, no one loses out anything on this. But people that play this a lot and have the coins, they gain something. It's not bad, right? It's a if 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 there was a graph on how good the mode is, it would go up by just ever so slightly. But they don't think that there's no way they think that's the feat, like the, the issue like they're like oh dude like people don't want to like I, like that's that is an issue like we like they make us play grand cost for way too long right um the game has always been grindy right and i don't think you should compare it to like other like phone games um like like jetpack joy right you're not gonna hop in on grand cross do one run and hop off that's not how it works okay the G grand cross and a lot of gotcha nowadays just add just proper games in your phone space um Right, so I, I think the whole argument of like this doesn't like Gringo's always been a grinding game. It's always going to be a grinding game. You have to deal with it, okay? If you if you you played it because you like the grind, I know you do, okay. And if you don't like the grind anymore, then, then that makes much sense too because they made the right cancer. But it's not because it's grinding that's bad. It's because of what you have to grind that it's bad. Anyway, crazy, crazy, insanely. That's that's. I've never seen it. Well, I have, but this is insane disconnect from the community. Adding of new content revision of existing content. I can't wait to hear that sentence. By the way, a lot. Um, what I just said. As we mentioned in regards to up the direction of the second blah 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 blah. blah uh, reducing fatigue from existing content. We'd like to inform you about the new content we're planning. Okay. Reorganization of the underground labyrinth. It's been a long time we've been that lets you experience roguelike combat. Yeah. I feel like the buffs and stuff aren't cool enough. They're just like all oh, stats. They're not like actually like anything that makes them fun. Okay, this is all. We make adjustments to allow players to have slightly different experience by varying the structure of the deeper levels and passes. Okay. Limitations due to the overall content structure in the second half, where we are preparing to add such elements as difficulty selections, rankings, and new squares to give players slightly different experience. Okay, so I'm not going to really change it, but it's going to have more to it, I guess, which is fine. I mean, I think on the, like, Labyrinth is still the best mode we have in a game, even though I don't like doing it. Um, roguelikes is the, like, roguelike is the best type of content in the, in the world. For games, roguelike is the most fun, right? It, it is. I think, like, objectively, okay? Um, the only issue with Grand Cross roguelike version is that it's like, dude look at these like cool buffs you can do that like will change the the, the way you play now your humans get 100 percent crit damage when they're at five volt gauge whoa aren't you aren't you excited isn't this gonna change the way you play isn't it gonna make you pick like green jericho i said no she can't crit and <laughs> she's not what she used to be and the crit damage doesn't matter and there's a lot of like stupid stuff um anyway new minigame percival's adventure oh 
Plan to add some new mini games to add some freshness in the mini game that players enjoy. Okay. Okay, they didn't say anything. Okay, cool. Event boss battle or reorganization. Okay, we're gonna get rid of the, the Pikachu demon and the Marek and the, the, all the other ones. Our players will uh, event, uh, play event content that appear for each major event. However, players who remember the first appearance of Karas and Marek will know the, the difficulty level was different than it is now. Yeah, it used to be harder, I'd say. Yeah, it, was, it used to be harder. Pikachu demon, when it came out, I couldn't beat extreme, I remember until we had like red and such later strats for it and then even then it was like difficult so but after repeating for a long time we think the players the we think they have become simple content for obtaining rewards they've become shit content for obtaining dog shit rewards that's 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 not be around the bush in order to bring back the fun charging of early event bosses of funny strategies and sharing the experience i mean that 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 was literally what what needs to be fun in grand cross but the units are way too broken now if you make the bosses hard then it's fucked like you're gonna like so many pe people are gonna be locked out of it um of course we plan to make changes uh so the event is open uh, okay blah blah okay cool i don't care literally they, they they just a bunch of nothing like if you don't have anything to show for it don't tell us i think right like obviously this is just a dev note this is what's gonna happen in the future but at least have something remotely concrete right outside of like oh this is how i feel about the game i don't care you don't play Added challenger coins for PvP. Oh, bro. I'm not even reading this. Value menu improvements. Okay, that's it. Okay, so a bunch of nothing. And like, actually, no, nothing. Um, they've not listened. They have not... They don't understand, which is very sad. But I get why. Even if they watch YouTube, I get why they might not understand. Unless they watch me. Um, but it's really annoying. It is really annoying uh, that they... That they say... They, they talk about stuff that we've complained but their solution or their like answer to it is completely disconnected from what we think is good as the people playing the game and oftentimes players don't know what they're talking about and they're wrong right like we say oh dude we want demon king to be free and demon king is free and it's worse because then you get fomo because you're like damn if like demon king is just infinitely grindable now and i'm not grinding it for true awakening now i'm i'm missing i'm i'm missing out i'm gonna be behind all the other people and you get fomo when you play um but yeah, by the way, if I hear anyone mention Fall, I'm going to shoot myself. I introduced that vote word to this community, and ever since then, I've only seen people misuse it. Um, but yeah, I don't know why this is left in this country. I'm, I want to just, I wanna, let's see. I cannot translate section to English. It's Chinese. It says, in, it, it does say, it does say trading cave. That's good. But yeah, anyway, good job.